everybody, Execution God of Moo here, and welcome back to Modern Minecraft. This is episode 10, and I've done a few things off camera which I'd like to show you. Um, first of all, I've moved these two machines over here, and I've now got it running off of just the steam. Now, it's actually doing pretty well, I have to admit, although this is getting a little bit low, but that's fine, and I've got it dumping everything into here. Um, I made a 4K storage unit, um, that took a little bit, but now we can store tons more. Um, obviously we did this last episode, um, this is actually maxed now. Um, one of our jobs for this episode is to create another hardened energy cell to keep here. Um, so we can have, so we can alternate them when one runs low. Back to the quarry. This quarry still needs emptying because it's still got diamonds and stuff in that we haven't done anything with. Um, and this quarry needs to finish. So um, actually, I need to do it that way, don't I? There we go. Okay. So we're going to let this quarry continue during this episode. Um, luckily, we do have a spare energy pipe back at base. Is there anything I desperately need out of here? Uh, no, not really. So, I'm going to quickly show you the one room that has been made in our tunnel base at the moment. Um, it is purely a bedroom, just so I can stick my bed in and some chests. So here it is. I kind of like it. Um, it was surprisingly hard to go find pumpkins, but luckily I found some and I've got a little farm growing them now. So all I'm going to do is just going to chuck a bed in here couple of chests for like tools and stuff and that is that room obviously the power room is still going to go on this side um, as you can see it doesn't look like it's there it is actually there like literally right on the edge because if I break that you can see the wood and that sort of stuff but I think that looks very con well concealed this guy is still going like a trooper I have to keep chucking wood in because it keeps getting stuck under these massive trees very soon this building is coming down ah pink man this guy is going to come down very very soon when we start to do the move still going very very good over here so I can't get in there I think I need to do this just for now at least it can access everything then um, so yeah, that is where we are at today. I have noticed that this thing keeps going down, so I went to the nether to check it out, and it actually turns out that it needs to be chunk loaded, because this runs out and then we've got no power. So the plan for today is to make a chunk loader, which is not a problem. We actually have everything of this, bar the obsidian, so I'll have to go get obsidian, but we've got the book, we've got the two diamonds, and then I've just smelted up a load of gold. I believe it's five gold. And I managed to get an ender pearl. So all we need to do is grab some obsidian. Now, I can't remember where the closest amount is to me. I do believe it's in here. And I hope it's already been done. And I went the long way to get to the back. Come on. There it is. Okay. Leap of faith. Um, I do believe it's here. Oops. Yes, it is. Good. Okay. So, I'm not going to be a bat because I will go straight head first into it. And I didn't bring my... <sighs> Just before I started recording this episode, I took the diamond pick out of my inventory because I wasn't expecting to need it. Turns out I need it. So, let's go back and get it. But yeah guys, um, I have actually finished uni now. Um, I finished it two weeks ago, roughly. Um, there it is. I finished it roughly two weeks ago, um, and I've been working a lot at my part-time job during the week, obviously to get more money. So, I am, unfortunately, yet again, free time is kind of an issue. And obviously I'm looking for a proper job now with my degree. So, unfortunately I think it's going to be very, very difficult from now on, and I mean permanently, to be able to get 
videos ready for you guys. I will always be doing videos. I think I enjoy it too much to stop it. It's more finding the time to do so. And then after I've done a long day at work or whatever, it's more work now, but it was like uni as well before, that um, then I come home and I've got the time and I'm just not motivated to and I don't want to do a video where I'm just not motivated to do anything so did it reach? yeah so I'm going to do these when I can um, but that's pretty much all I can guarantee um, for any of you that are wondering and waiting for the contest to end um, as in you're not going to you're not going to participate um, that seems to be the way for everyone um, I guess I'm not bummed out by it because I guess I didn't expect any better because my channel isn't very big I've got a fair amount of I've got 131 subscribers as of recording this it has been up to 133 and then they leave um, but I don't get very many views per video so here's a chunk load by the way let's go put it into place so I guess I didn't expect anything obviously if there are some of you out there that are actually working on stuff that's great I cannot wait to see it um, let's just make sure the bigger we make this the more the pump can grab Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. So. That should now be continuously. When we're in the overworld, that is. Not when we're here. Because the other one isn't chunk loaded. Although some of it is because of the quarries. But. Pumps aren't auto chunk loaded. But now. This should stay permanently full. Which is good. That's how we want it. So, did, 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 did this finish yet? That did finish. Look at this. There are my metals. So, we have two different types of copper, but we've got tons of copper nonetheless. Awesome. So, I think the next thing on the agenda is to make a hardened energy cell. So, we do need a leadstone one frame is lead glass and a redstone block redstone glass and two three four and lead I actually need to uh, pulverize my lead because we are running low on well running at low on pulverized lead so let's quickly make this. I'm going to try and keep you guys sort of in the loop a bit more with videos. So, not necessarily less cuts, but when it's little menial stuff like this. Okay. If you pulverize it, you get some of the stuff back. Okay. Hard. Uh? Oh, it wasn't typing. Okay. Hardened energy cell. So, I just need copper and an electrum. Luckily, I have one piece of electrum left. Um, redstone. Grab two of those. And then it was copper. I want to say copper. I don't, really don't want to be wrong. Do 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 do. Is it like this? Is it like this? Ah! What was it? Hardened. No, I don't care about that. 
Oh, it's because I've got these two the wrong way around. Here it is. Okay, so there's a leadstone one, but I want it to be hardened, which I believe is invar. Yes, I need to make invar blend, which I can't remember how to right now. Invar blend is iron and ferrous, which I do believe I've actually iron. One, two, three. Actually, I should probably should have done four so I could do an even amount. Four, and then two ferrous, which I actually already have. Okay, you can finish that for a second. That'll be enough lead for a little bit. Actually, is that gonna, that's not even going to be en enough, is it? How many Invar blend do I get? I get three, okay, that's plenty. Oh no, 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 no. I forgot about that. <laughs> well, that was close. I'll just chuck this in here so it's actually got something to do. That was close. Come on. I know, I know you're running low on power, that's fine, I can. I fully expected you to. It was just a pure basic setup for now. Um, we're going to work on a farm today as well. No, I don't want to go in there, I want to go bam, 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 and cook me up some invar. Um, I needed just four for this I believe three four so it's like this there we go hardened energy cell this is going to be the new one for here so we can alternate between two so he goes there and starts charging you can start you can go back to where you was and you can go there you are going to output to the left I believe, yes. Whack up the input and outputs. So you can really start charging. There we go, awesome. So, I'm going to quickly go check on the quarries and get ready for the thing we're going to do next. Alright, so next up on the agenda is we need... I really, really want to get a pair of Tesseracts. Um, now, the reason for this is transferring energy and items backward and forth to this machine is going to make life so much easier. It means we can also go out and remotely set up a quarry, just plonk down a tesseract and the rest will happen on its own. So I think getting a pair of tesseracts is going to be amazing. Now the thing is they are they're not cheap mainly because they require resonant ender. Now resonant ender Oh, we need Enderium as well, do we? Okay, I didn't realise we need Enderium as well. But, um, hardened glass is not too difficult. The diamond, obviously. Do we need to get Enderium blend, is it? Yes. Which is pulverised shiny metal and tin dust. How do we get resonant ender? Yeah, so, so we do need a spawner of Enderman. Now, we did go over this before. Platinum grains. How do we get shiny metal? Now you see, this is all new for me because I haven't even looked yet. Shiny metal ingot. Molten shiny metal. So it comes from platinum. So we need to get some platinum. Platinum. If we can, platinum comb, platinum grains. Not too sure how we get platinum grains, I might have to look into that. But anyway, we will need to spawn some Enderman, which is why we got the Safari Net captured one in the previous episode. Now, this is going to happen anyway because I think, because I'm going to need an auto spawner at some point. But today, we're going to create the auto spawner. So, in. 
here. Here we go, we've got Savari Net captured full health Enderman. Which is perfect. So what we need is to create an auto spawner. Which has got a space, which is why it didn't show up. There we go. Okay, so we have everything. I do believe we have the emeralds. I just want to make sure. I'm pretty sure. Yes, we do. It's fine. I'm usually pretty short on emeralds, so... But there is a way around that, and we will do that eventually. So we have the raw plastic, because we did those last episode. We need iron, glass, and gold. So... Four iron... Glass... Two, three, four... And some gold, which is just one piece. So let's make a machine frame. I don't know why I'm doing it this way, but it's not going to work. Okay. I know what it is. So we can have an advanced machine frame. Oh, it's just a machine frame. Okay, and then we need some gold, just a piece of gold, redstone. I think we just need two pieces of that. Um, I do believe we have magma creams. We do. I just need two of those. I need two emeralds. I don't think I've put my nether wart in here. I haven't, and I haven't put my plastic in here. So, I need two plastic and a piece of nether wart. I did bring back some soul sand to plant this nether wart. That may have to happen this episode. So, auto spawner. I do believe that's not everything. Oh, because I haven't created this. That would be why. Auto spawner. Bam. Okay, this thing is going to come in so handy. Now, unfortunately, this thing works with mob essence. Now, we don't have a significant way of getting mob essence yet. So, what I want is an XP extractor. Now, what it does, it will fill up a bucket in my inventory with... Uh, it'll extract my XP and fill up an, a bucket with mob essence. Um, which is going to be the main way I'm going to be able to spawn Enderman at the moment. It is probably the easiest way for me to do it as well. But we do need plastic sheets. Now, I need three more because we just used two and only had four. So, we've got two here. And the way you get it is by re-smelting rubber. Now, we only need three, so I'm not going to do any more than we need. But we should get raw plastic. Oh, crap. Yeah, how many do we get from raw plastic? Ooh, I didn't think of that. Plastic sheets. We get four. Okay, that's fine. I only need to do it once, then. So, that's three. I need to do one more. Come on! There he is. Just go like that. And there's some more plastic sheets. And we need glass, which we have two of. There. I just need to get one of these plastic sheets. There it is. XP extractor! I wanted to get one of these for a while. Um, ooh! Plastic boots. Didn't know you could do that. Um, we do need two pieces of normal rubber. And there it is. The XP extractor. Now, I don't have a bucket on me, but if I get... I thought I had a bucket in there. I apparently don't. Obviously, it's completely useless to me right now, but if I have a bucket in my hotbar, and then right-click, pull out some XP, and there it is. A mob essence bucket. That's taken one level off of my XP. So, hunting mobs is actually going to be a real handy thing now. So we're getting somewhere now. We can actually spawn mobs in um, using this auto spawner. Now we do need a place to actually spawn them in. Um, so what I'm thinking, I don't really. I want to do it on that back wall, but I don't because that's a hell of a walk. So what I'm thinking is making a walkway around the edge of here. and putting it at the back over here and then we'll just open this out 
doesn't have to look pretty because um, there's no guarantee this will be its final location but so yeah I'm gonna hollow this out and I'll see you when I've got the room made alright guys welcome back so this is the room I actually went on to the wiki to see the optimal size and this was the optimal size 9x9x5 nine by nine by um, I've got covers here which run this one under here runs from this tank which is going to have the mob essence in like so so I'm just going to fill this up and then this one next to me is just for power obviously we will have to get another um, power source for this thing but because we're only purely doing it to get some ender pearls at the moment not too bothered so that's now full um, I might just make sure um, that should stay in the bucket or is it going down the it might be going down just here but it's currently off because it's got a lever on it and I haven't put the enderman in yet because I wanted to do it on camera so we're going to quickly sleep give me my last piece of monster jerky although I think there's a piece on the inside wall of the house um, we did have a creeper accident here luckily it doesn't actually look like much happened but that's why there's cobble here unfortunately a creeper just walked up while I was making a saw but there we go as you can see I just spawned those in because I really didn't want to have to create those again and everything was still on my drives everything which means I would have had to have started from scratch so hopefully you guys are okay with me just spawning in that and the disk drive just so we can get our items back obviously soon this will all be in our house and get rid of this piece of ugly crap I don't even know I just need to get rid of it so what was I doing I need to grab the actual enderman which I believe is there he is um, let's just chuck some stuff in there now I'm gonna block it off with glass just for now now I'm gonna see how many endermen we can get spawning in here so this is gonna have to be a very quick thing to do so we go in here and we pop the enderman in why won't you go in huh why can't I use my enderman in there do I have to use it in a safari net launcher Let's just keep this guy in here for now. Maybe I need a specific safari net. Maybe I, I have to have this. Oh, that, see, this is why I didn't want to. Hmm. Why didn't it go in? Let's just quickly make another one of these because they're only single use and I don't have that many ender pearls to make a reusable one two three is it three or four four of course it was four four three four then it was leather and slime now I have tons of slime I actually made sure I went and grabbed a load because I knew there would be a point when we would need it like right now bang 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 okay so we got another safari net I want to know why it wouldn't go in the auto spawner you still in here you're not are you god damn it Okay. Think I could see that coming to be honest, but let's just grab another mob. Ooh, a skeleton actually. Will not turn down a skeleton farm. Come here. Okay. Maybe it has to be a reusable one. I might test it in a creative world. Because this will not go in. I'm going to assume so. So let's just quickly hop over to a creative world. I can't believe we have to do this just to find out, but be back in a second. 
All right, guys. So we're in a creative world. Um, so this is literally just a quick, really quick setup. Tons and tons of. Um, I can't spawn them off, can I? So basically, here's the Enderman. I apparently can't pick him up. Why is that? Do I need a launcher? Let's just find out. See, this is all all learning. Capture mode. Okay, there we go, so there's a caught enderman, apparently this is what we need to do, so will this work? I think it will, because it took it, go wait for this to go down to zero, does it need the right spawn conditions? There we go, see now we've got enderman going, so, huh. Okay, so we do need a launcher. That's fine. Now we know. Okay, so unfortunately, the reason for us making this in the first place was to get ender pearls. And we actually need ender pearls to get ender pearls. Because we need to create a reusable safari net, which requires four ender pearls. Um, and the launcher, which is not too difficult. We can do the launcher, no problem. So. That is going to be my job for next episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this little bit. I know it's not been absolutely amazing. In fact, actually no, no, I'm not going to stop it here. In fact, I'm going to show on camera because I did say I was going to. I'm going to start moving some, especially my bed, and I'm going to move some chests over as well. Um, I didn't realise I had smooth stone in there. I actually needed some earlier. What did I just chuck? No! Crescent hammer! Can I have it please? Give me my crescent hammer, thank you. So, here it is. In the bedroom. Wabam. Set my spawn. I'm gonna grab a couple of chests. I need to sort out an entranceway, but I'm really not sure how I wanna do it. So for right now, it's going to stay as it is. I got a chest. Can I get some more? I don't want to do that. I want some wood. I'm going to get three chests. So I have a stack of four. So what I'll do is I'll do two little ones. Probably for tools and armor, and then a big one for any miscellaneous items that I have. Probably going to go here. Awesome, so thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you in the next one.